Hey there, welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we saved Zhao from, you know, Mabuchi. And uh, Namba came back to us as happy as we are. We are, well, we're happy he's back. Now, for, we want to meet Siryu clan. I want to, you know, get more info out of them, but right now I'm going to do these two side quests that just popped up. One here, then one there. And then we'll easily do them. Oh, now, now we're dodgy. is a little funky. Alright. Another... <clears throat> another... <clears throat> another dinner alone? Hmm? I wonder why that kid's by himself. And this late, too. Table for one. Uh. Hey, kiddo. You eating all by yourself here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well... That won't do at all. How about I give you some company? You, you sure? Wow, what a cool guy. Just go, it just goes to show that looks could be deceiving. <laughs> Thing is, you gotta pay the friendship fee up front. Then there's the chewing fee, the digesting fee, the uh, well, you know, anyway, I'll <gasps> take it. Oh, no way, that's extortion. What's that, you little shit? You kids, with your big words these days, you saying there's something off about my policy? Hey, don't yell, you're scaring me. Nope, he's a thug. Now, how can you even think of shaking a kid that a shaking down a kid though? Yo, hey, leave the kid, leave him alone. Can you see you're freaking him out? Uh yeah. That's the goddamn point, and if you think you're about getting in my way, I'm gonna serve you up first. <laughs> Look, I don't want to see this kid. Let this see. Holy cow. Look, I don't want this kid seeing you get hurt. Let's take this outside. Reminds me, I gotta change Namba's class back. Alright. You know what? Let's do a neck twister. We'll take care of that hooligan. Yep. Okay, I think I screwed up. Seriously. I'll leave the kid alone from now on. Then get lost. Yes. Yes, sir. Hey. Thanks, mister. All good, little man. Now how about you finish up and go home, eh? Actually, would you mind staying with me till I'm done? My name's... Naboru, by the way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Would you mind? I just hate eating by myself all the time. Must be a lonely kid. No wonder he looked so happy when that punk first talked to him. Look, I'm more than willing to share. Look, I'm more than willing to share. I ordered french fries, a dipping sauce, and um... I feel like shifts. Some other jackass came and bullied him when I wasn't around. Guess I could spare the time. Alright, bud. I can hang out for a bit. Oh. And I'm Kazuga. Really? You're awesome, Kazuga-san. Thanks a million. Sandwich coffee. Okay, all done. Man, that was so good. <laughs> Hope you tasted some of it. You scarfed that down real quick. Yeah. Somehow I always eat faster when there's company. 
Right. You mentioned something about always eating alone. Mm hmm Usually it's just me and my mom. But lately she just leaves me money for dinner and goes off somewhere. She ever tell you where she's going? Nope. Huh. Back when I was a kid, I was alone most nights too. Guess we're alike in that sense. Anyway, thanks for staying with me. You got a little man. Hope I helped you kill at least a little time. Yeah, it was fun. I wish we could eat together all the time. Uh, sorry. That was just me being selfish. Forget I said that. I'm about to bawl my eyes out watching this kid. He's so honest, even to a complete stranger. So you come eat here a lot? Yeah. Back when Dad was around, it would always be us three. But now it's just me by myself. Gotcha. Then why don't we come back here again? Better to eat with a buddy, right? You mean it? All right. Great. But for now, you're going home. Okay. Then see you next time. Oh, well, isn't he a happy kid? All right. Now we're going to go... Probably the hello work real quick. Nope. Yeah, real. So I want Namba to at least be a kind of healing class. Then we'll be happy. Well, I'll be happy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Namba, you're going back to musician. Can I help you? All right. Ah, uh, we'll put one of these on you. Juki Hun. Oh man, you'd probably be a really good bodyguard. Um, Devil Rocker. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Okay, once again, Namba. Okay, he has the best one. Oh, yeah, the hat. Shin bandana. And he doesn't have the one thing, so... Wait, what's this? Okay, immune to... Okay, um... You're mostly still magic. So, actually, let's do that. The kid, I think, might be back. Yep, he's back. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, have I eaten everything in here? Oh, now I want it. Yeah, I have. think I'm kind of in the mood for chocolate. Should we stop by a convenience store? Can we go play pachinko instead? What? If you want to play pachinko, why didn't you just say so instead of whining about chocolate? No, the chocolate prizes are actually pretty good. I feel you. Man, now I want some chocolate too. Then we're off to the pachinko parlor. I swear. Hmm. Uh, I guess chalk. Oh. What the hell is this place? They serving up dinosaur burgers or something? It probably means you'll feel as strong as a dinosaur if you eat it. You're both wrong. They mean it's so good, you'll want to hunt down a dinosaur when you're done. Hunt down a dinosaur. That's a hell of an imagination. What do you think, Joongi Han? It looks as though the dinosaur is impressed with the size of the hamburger. That's my take, anyway. <laughs> ah, that's a new one. True. If I saw a hamburger that big, I'd be shocked, too. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's go with that. Huh? What were we talking about? Alright, Jugi and Hung is ready for a link-up, but let's talk to the kid and have dinner. Mm, 
Now, what should I get today? Oh, the Boros here. Look like he hasn't eaten. Maybe we, now's a good time to catch up. So itchy. Hey. Yo, the Boru. Oh, oh Kazuka-san. You came back. I sure did. So, you hungry? You bet. Oh man, I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> you eat like a dinosaur, Naboru. <laughs> oh yeah, then you eat like a, uh, uh, a mutant dinosaur. By the way, how old are you, kid? I'm nine, but ten is just around the corner. Oh, so you got yourself a birthday coming up. What do you ask your mom for? Huh? Aren't kids supposed to get presents on their birthdays? I mean, not that I ever did. Mm. Oh, yeah. Were you some kind of troublemaker? I could kind of see it. No way. Hey, I wasn't that bad. Okay, maybe I was, but that wasn't the reason at all. I just didn't have any parents to give me anything. Really? Really. Now, top it off, my birthday's on New Year's, but I never got New Year's eat New Year's presents either. Double dose tragedy every year. <laughs> oh. Then maybe I should stop feeling sorry for myself. Ah, no, I wasn't trying to say that. I was just... Anyway, it could have been a single present. Anything you wanted, what would it be? Mm. Oh, that's easy. It'd be the red baseball glove that... Tanyama? Tanyama Sporting Goods. It's modeled after Sotoyama's, you know, from the major leagues. That's why it's so popular and rare. I try not to ask mom for much, but I really, really want this. So I told her about the glove, but I bet she has forgotten. <laughs> oh, don't you say that. I'm sure she got a lot. She's got a lot going on. But maybe she'll pull through for you. Have a little faith. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, mister. Well, it's getting to be that time. About when kids your age should go home doing their homework. Here. Yeah, you're right. Guess time flies when you're having fun. See you later, Kazuga-san. Later. Hmm. So, Naboru wants a baseball glove from Tayama Sporting Goods. Hope his mom really does remember. Alright. Yep. So, we got the quest over there. So, let's immediately take a Ataxe. And go there. Also, Junki and Hun is ready to have their link increased, which I can do real quick. Hey, Eri chan when's your birthday? Hmm? Oh, it's April 7th. Oh, yeah? And what's your favorite food? Hey, he's not flirting with her, is he? Cute girls are kind of his downfall, and Eri chan definitely fits the bill. All right, I got it. Eri chan you're a Black Panther. Huh? A black panther? That's a little fortune-telling trick that gives you an animal based on your birthday and interests. I'm a chihuahua myself. Ooh, and hey, you and I are a good match. Holy shit, is he really using the oldest trick in the book? Right? Fortune-telling flirting is really dating him. Mmm, actually, I prefer pandas. Wouldn't you rather be a panda? Huh? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, that's... Not really what I'm getting at. Oh, that's too bad. Ah. Wow, talk about striking out. And a chihuahua? Seriously? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. A chihuahua. That's a decision. Hello, kasuga -san. I must say, this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man, how's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man! You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. 
Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on. First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. That how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong. And they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Um... Well, it's true. In Dragon Quest terms, you're worth too much experience. If you're slimes who run away, the reason they chase you is because you're worth tons of experience. <laughs> I get it. You're into video games, aren't you, Kazuga? Yeah, I played a lot as a kid. Well, you might be surprised to learn I am too. We should talk shop sometime. Hell yeah! Charisma! So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? Hmm. Enter the 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. 
That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So? What happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Boy failed. Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. If I remember correctly, this is Yakuza 3, maybe? I think it's 3. It might be 3. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. I might be wrong about <laughs> that, by the way. Sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Wait. Then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it, Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Nah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. Right. Gotta get those drink links up. Alright. Progress, progress, progress. Right, and then the quest is down there. But you want to know what I'm going to do? Oh, wait, there's a bug. Never mind. I got to turn those in one day. I am going to call it here. Not for the episode, for the love of God, not the episode. I'm going to call it here because I'm tired. And I'm going to just resume this tomorrow, so... Eh, you won't know this, hopefully. Alright, I'm back. Picked up, you know, went to bed, and I'm up, and I'm here back. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything... Just double-checking. Alright, now we're gonna go down here and see what's happening. Hi. Oh yeah. Is this the place where the head no burrow no no yeah no burrow's glove or at least the one he wanted? <laughs> wow, having a salamana. Soto Yama, so the Yama glove in my hands is unreal. I gotta say though, picking the second to last one feels like sliding in the home and hearing the umpire yell, safe. <laughs> Bet these are selling fast, huh? That bright red color sets fire, sets my heart on fire. Well, at least it's not the last one. Usually it's the last one in these games that you always find. Shoot, there's only one left. Things aren't looking good for Naburo. Hmm. Maybe I should just get for him before someone else can. Excuse me. Oh, oh Top Tamachan. Hello there. You're here for the glove, aren't you? The Sodayama model. Crap. Did she reserve it ahead of time? Mm. Yep. I'm finally ready to buy it. It's been such a hard month, I hardly know how I managed to scrape the money together. Yeah, saving money in this economy is no easy feat.
And this glove is the priciest on the one on the shelf. I sure hope your son likes it. <laughs> For him, it's a small price to pay. He's normally very reserved and doesn't speak his mind. This is the first time he's really asked me for anything. That's how I know he know how much he wanted this. This lady's son sounds an awful lot like Naboru. You know, I have to leave him all by himself most nights, but right now there's just no other option. So I'm hoping this can make up for it. some of it anyway. I'm sure he understands. The only reason you're doing your ways because you're working hard for the both of you he knows without a doubt you're a fantastic mother <sighs> i sure hope so anyway i'm glad i made it in time i'm taking them out for uh, out taking them out for dinner after this he used to go all he used to go all the time back when my husband was still alive well hey you'd better get over to him don't keep the birthday boy waiting <laughs> so she really is the boros mom happy for you kid you do have a great mother. Oh. You gotta be shitting me. Hell, thief. Tommy Ch oh, Tommy John, are you okay? <sighs> uh, don't worry about me. The glove is more important. You bastard. Hold on, Naburo. I'll get your present back. I'm gonna laugh that's not his mother. <laughs> that feel good rocking a brand new Sodiyama. That could fuck with this thing on. I wouldn't- oh, what? Mm, okay. Man, when I get a new baseball goal, that's all I think about doing. That's the jerk who stole Naboro's glove, all right. Now stay where- the, now stay there. Hold on! Hey, thief. You know what I'm here for, right? You didn't seriously chase me down to get a glove, did you? That glove is a low kid's birthday present, and you need to give it back. Uh -huh. Not a chance in hell. This shit could sell for millions of yen on the internet. I don't give a damn how much you think it's worth. What's, with the mo what's more precious? Than a kid's smile or a mother's love. Back it up with the, the mushy shit. Back up, back it up with the mushy shit. I'll kick your ass. Oh, okay. All right, what level are you? Watch me. All right, hey, you want a knack? Yeah, yeah, just snap this knack. Too easy, I'm afraid. All right, good job, guys. We did it. Wonky hammer. I already got one. There. How's that for mushy? Ano. Oh no. Are you okay? Um. Yes. He's not. A thief. Did you confront him? You're not hurt, are you? He didn't even do a turn, lady. We instantly took him out. Nah, hardly a scratch on me. More importantly, here, it's yours. Arigato. My son's glove? Oh, how can I ever thank you? I'm afraid, I'm afraid I don't have much to offer, but please, take this. Maxim? Um, is that for the chef? You saved my son's birthday. You really are a wonderful person. <laughs> hey, as long as Naboro gets his present, I'm a happy guy. Go... You should never bring up her son's name when she doesn't know you. It's like, okay. Oh, go make his birthday wish come true, huh? Oh, uh, okay. Wait, how did he know his name? Yeah. Glad I could get that glove back. I should check up on the borrow in a bit. Make sure all goes well. Alright, yeah, I think this one's a quick side quest. Yeah, another over there. There's a taxi in front of me. I was gonna say, I know it's a taxi. Alright, we wanna go... Dude. Okay. Alright,
Hey, old man, we'll get to you soon. Alright. Alright, now we're gonna go in here. Chat with you. Exit restaurant. We should be fine. Just yet, Nabora. I'm sure she'll be here any minute now. Nabora. Ah. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I made you wait. It's okay, Mom. Don't worry. Okay. Happy birthday, Nabora. What? No way! It's from Taniyama Sporting Goods. Can I open it now? <laughs> The present's not going anywhere. Open it when we get a table. Okay. Now it's getting cold out, so let's go in and think about what you'd like for your special day. You can order anything on the menu. As long as we're eating together, Mom, I'm happy with anything. Okay, we're returning your present then. Noboru, you make me proud to be a mother. I'm sorry I always have to leave you. It's okay. I was kind of lonely for a little while, but then I made a friend named Kasuga-san. Kasuga-san? What kind of person is he? <laughs> well, I'll tell you all about him. Happy birthday, Noboru. Keep your chin up. Ah, oh, that's a cute side quest. Oh, wait, what? I'm not... <laughs> I hate to say, but I'm not going to hire a 10-year-old now for my consulting firm. Alright. Oop. Okay. Now time to go to this side quest up here. Man, when daytime hits, I'm going to do a full episode on Dragon Cart, so be prepared for that mess. I honestly only ever done tutorial for Dragon Cart, and then never done after that, so... I'm... Interested. It's like pocket races and the other dry Yakuza games. Which, honestly, pocket racers was pretty fun too. And I believe in the first Yakuza game, I'm oh, sorry, Yakuza Zero, you had the uh, wrestling bug ladies. <laughs> the pup sleeper something. Mm hmm? Come, come, come on in. Grand Animal Circus. Didn't know the circus was in town. Wow. Looks like it's right here in Hamakita Park. I should check it out when I have the time. Ooh, a crust. I thought that was a bug. Alright. Oh, uh. Go, go, go. Oh, another Tojo crest. Man, I'm here for the bugs, and all I'm getting are crests. There we go. You can keep doing this for a while to get all the good insects to spawn, too. Oh, let's see a silver spider. Alright, let's actually get going. Yep, there's the animal circus. Is that a bear? Ah, that's a bear. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Grand Animal Circus. We're here today at Hamakita Park to bring you a day of excitement and fun. And don't forget to take some time to meet and greet our animals, the stars of the show. They're all very well behaved, so don't miss this chance to make some new friends. <laughs> meet and greet with the animals, huh? 
This here is Catherine Chan, the bear. Go on, step right up and shake her paw. Yeah, I don't want to. You can even get your picture taken with her. What do you say? Shaking hands with a bear? You sure that's safe? Not to worry. Catherine Chan has gone through special training, so she's actually quite friendly with people. Not only is she an acrobatic wonder, she knows how to please her fans. She was a real good girl during the move here. I've raised her since she was a cub, and I can assure you she is most gentle. She listens to me no matter what. Um. You might say we're kindred spirits, she and I. Wait, how? Please, I'm talking to our guest here. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, right. Catherine Chan. Um. Yes, indeed. You should definitely take the chance to meet her and see our show. So, does this Catherine Chan ever go outside? No, she may be tame, but she never goes outside. Doing so would give her far too much excitement, so everything stays within her cage. And don't you worry, her um, cage is locked up good and tight. <laughs> um. That's right, why this lock here... Wait, this is the lock to Catherine Chan's cage. <laughs> Catherine Chan's gotten loose! <laughs> Catherine Chan, be a good girl and return to your cage! She listens to me no matter what. What a load of crap! <laughs> you, please, help me get Catherine Chan back in her cage! Huh? Me? You're out of your damn mind! You've known her since she was a cub, right? You do it! No, no, nah, no way! I was foolish to think man could form any kind of bond with a beast like her! Shit! This dude's totally lost it! You'll have to hold her down! I promise to pay you back! We can't have her reach the city! Yeah, I get that, but... Damn! This is gonna be interesting! Bring it on! I wasn't expecting to fight a bear today, but here we are. All right, let's stun her. Weak. Don't move. Don't get caught. Let's go. Take your best shot. All right, do this. You're in this love. You're in it now. Voltage increase. Cool. Uh. Bring it on. Let's go! I'm splitter. Oh, I'm doing that way too early. Uh, okay, immediately. That's not supposed to look like that. Take this! Alright, she's weak to blade. Which I don't have one, so we'll just have to do. No begging for mercy now. Have fun with this. Damn. Oh my voltage just went to three. Oh no, Namba's gonna be doing damage. Giga swing. Um, that's useless at the moment. We'll just do Bat Breaker. You wanna fight? Come on now. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh wow. Um, I'll show you. It looks like her animations might be a slit and buggy. <laughs> Oh, I keep hitting that second one too early. Pain in the ass. Let's go. Bring it on. One summer. Weak. Gotta hold it together. You're in for it. You know, I'm curious. What does this look like? Now we're talking. Alright, now this should do a lot of damage. You're in it now. Alright. Watch this. Uh, she's resist. 
<laughs> oh wow. Moving up in the world. Relax. Alright. Not too bad. Man, her animations were a bit weird though. You should hurry back to your cage, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine John went back to her cage all on her own. <sighs> Meet and greet my ass. Thank you very much. I must say, I'm amazed Catherine John listened to someone other than me. You know, I don't think she was listening to you much in the first place. Either way, we can now carry on with the show. This is a small token of my appreciation. Please, take it. Oh, thank you. Chef's towel. I just realized I hadn't formally introduced myself. Sorry, My a sheep's towel, not chef. And I'm the ringmaster here at the Grand Animal Circus. I'm Kasuga. So you're the ringmaster, huh? Yes, though there's not much to be ringmaster over with such a small staff. We travel all over the country with our amazing animals. All over the country? Indeed. Circuses typically hold their shows in big cities. But there are many children outside these cities who cannot attend. So we hold our shows as we travel from place to place. I was one of those children once. The first time I was taken to see the circus, I was overjoyed. I want to share that same joy with as many children as possible. Honestly, we're struggling to stay in business. But in spite of this, I aim to do nothing but my absolute best. <laughs> I got you. I hope it all works out. Oh, Kausuga-san. Our next show is about to start soon. Care to marvel at all that Catherine Chan can do? It's sure to be quite a show. No, I think I'm marveled out for the day. Wouldn't want to cause another scene. I understand. Well, please stop by any time. There will be other animals besides Catherine Chan in our upcoming shows. Yeah? They ain't gonna escape, are they? Don't worry. They're incredibly obedient. I'll take your word for it. All right. I think I'll head out then. Keep an eye on those friends of yours, yeah? I will. Thank you again, Kaskasan. Damn. Hell of a day. That ringmaster said they'll be holding more shows here. I should probably check them out next time I'm around. All right. This one, I believe, will now continue in the daytime, so we're done. Uh, alright. I don't think it continues right away. Oh, it does. Uh, I was really hoping it... Wait. Oh, it's a tiger now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all. It's the Grand Animal Circus. We're doing a meet and greet today. Come say hello to our animals. They'd love to meet you. Hmm? Hmm? Grand Animal Circus is at again, huh? Still can't believe I had to wrangle that bear. <sighs> another show with another animal. Okay, I'll buy him. I just should check in. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Hey, still at it, huh? Oh, Kasuga-san, let me just thank you again for last time. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved Catherine Chan's show. Did they? Sounds like it all worked out then. Who's the star today? Don't tell me it's the bear. Oh no, as you can see, today we've got Charlotte Chan oh, ready to go. Oh, it's a giant kitty. Charlotte Chan the tiger. Wow, that's a pretty sweet looking tiger. Isn't she? Her fur is perfectly soft to the touch too. Why don't you introduce yourself? Just stretch your hand out and she'll give you a shake. It's so cute. Oh, and there's nothing to worry about. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I've handled her training personally ever since she was a cop. You said it last time. I have nothing but confidence in her. Uh, 
Sounds like we'll get along just fine then. Hmm? Oh, hey, little guy. Are you hungry? Well, today's your lucky day. So happens I have some food on hand for just the occasion. Here you go. Eat up. <laughs> you two are practically old friends. You think so? <laughs> well, when you've looked after animals as long as I have, this kind of thing becomes second nature. I dare say talking to animals is easier than learning a second language. <laughs> hmm? You want some more? Now, now, you've had enough to eat already. You can have more tomorrow. Wait, what? You might think it's strange, but everything from stray cats to birds seem to be drawn to me. I don't know what you'd call that, but it feels like I must have some kind of animal aura. Uh huh. And uh, that goes for Charlotte John too, right? <laughs> he sees Most that. definitely. She's wild by nature, but I think she's really drawn to me. Even if it means climbing out of her cage? Of course not. I never let her outside. She's a curious sort, but the outside world would be much too stimulating for her, so she usually lives in her enclosure. Hey now, I said no more food for today. You'll get more tomorrow. God damn it. <laughs> yeah! Charlotte John's out of her cage! <laughs> Charlotte John, be a good girl and get back in your cage. Hey, I thought you said you two understood each other. She seems pretty pissed off to me. Kasuka san, please help me get Charlotte John back in her cage. This shit again? That's a freaking tiger. What happened to all that second nature crap? Now be a pretty damn good time to use it. I may have over-exaggerated a bit. Frankly, I have a hard enough time talking to people. I mean, what do you take me for? Some modern-day king of the jungle? I'm starting to think you're some kind of modern-day idiot, Yosin Asan! You'll have to prove you're superior to her. Just like you did the bear. I love these animations. I promise I'll pay. Do you know how much trouble we'd be in if she reached the city? Sure, but still. <laughs> As if the bear wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. This is my second tiger I'm feeding out. Alright. Once again, we're doing. Oh. Hey, my voice. What are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna hold off on Crescent. I want a gift for you. Have some gun. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the crits. Bring it on. Do it. Going in. If I can get more passion, oh man, bring three damage buff. Oh. Well, didn't you move fast? Let's get it 
Come on now. Mm -hmm. Watch me. You're weak. Oh yeah? I got this. I'm just tired. Yeah. Too easy, I'm afraid. All right, Charlotte Shot. Back to your cage now. <sighs> Amazing. Charlotte John recognizes you as the Alpha Tiger, I think. She's usually pretty shy around other people, so she doesn't attach herself to anyone else but me. This is amazing, Kasaka-san. Well, she didn't seem all that attached to you a little bit ago. Either way, I'm <laughs> glad we didn't cause a scene. This is to show my appreciation. I mean, technically, we still Please, caused a scene. Medal of Honor. Look, this better be the Decent last time PS2 escape army game. Zoo. Don't worry. I'll be keeping a close eye on the cages from now on. Yeah, that'd be wise. By the way, Charlotte Chan's show will be starting very soon. Would you like to stay and watch? I can get you a seat. No, thank you. <sighs> I think I'm good. Nothing's gonna compare to going toe to toe with the tiger for a while. Understandably so. Well, feel free to stop by anytime. We'll have a new animal joining our menagerie in the near future. I'm gonna ask just to be safe, but this one won't be escaping anytime soon, will it? Oh, rest assured, this one is the wisest of them all, so that's completely out of the question. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna take off. Be more careful from now on. Of course. Thank you once again, Kasuka-san. Yeah, no, thank you. You gotta be shitting me. First a bear, then a tiger. And apparently, he's got a new animal joining the show. I should check it out when I'm feeling up for Lions it. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. I hate to say it, the next one's not... Lion. I don't think it is. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can find... Oh! They're not my items. Okay. How about you? Nope. You? Nope. Yeah. Oh look, uh, an after. Alright, we actually do need to eat food. Wait, what? Oh no. Be nope, 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 nope. Gotta walk around. Don't want to trigger something. I just want to eat. So we're going here. Oh wait. Run down, okay. I need pocket tissues for you. heal up because you'd be shocked to know fighting a tiger and a bear do leave you missing a little bit of HP but a lot of MP. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Ignoring you guys. I'm going in here. Oh, we do have everything. It increases defense too. We'll have you, you, and oh, this. Mmm, might go for some... Let me see. Ooh, I'd love to have some Blue Mountain, personally. Me. Oh, oh, Namba's right for... Alright. 
now, let's go over there and see what other attractions he has that definitely won't escape. Oh, wait, what? What was that? Eric, that was weird. Ooh, silver dragonfly. are all the way good. We have our classes. I think I'll save. As it save. I'll save over that. Senpai, you seen that circus yet? The one over there. Yeah, I saw it. I went in expecting nothing, but it was actually pretty entertaining. Always wanted to see a tiger ride a ball like that. Only thing I didn't really care for was the ringmaster. Tiger completely ignored him. Yasuda Circus Troop sounds like it's getting pretty popular. I can't really say the same for Yasuda, though. Well, it was the same with the bear. I want to see it at least one more time before they close up. I'm going on break. For the thousandth time, new guy! Shut off the equipment before leaving the premises. It's fine. I'll be right back. Not like we get much break time anyway. <sighs> New guy needs to learn some manners. Well, no surprise there. What do you say we go on break too? I'm starving. Same. Yeah, let's go get some katsudan. So the circus is ending soon, huh? Maybe I should stop by. All right. Yeah, let's see what's happening at the circus. For lucky, he actually changed the lock or something or the cage. Well, the cage is the same. The lock is different, though. Thank God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all. It's the Grand Animal Circus. We won't be at this location much longer, so we hope you've enjoyed the show till the end. Oh, oh, Kazuko-san. Yeah. You came. Yeah. Business is really booming, huh? Arigato gozaimasu. Yes. Thanks to you, I've never had so many guests before. Hmm? Really? We're a relatively small circus troupe, so it stands to reason our shows are on the smaller side as well. All these guests are here today because they heard about your breathtaking battle with our Catherine show. Yo. And that wasn't a show. That was me risking my life to get the damn thing back in its cage. <laughs> I know, I know, but you can't say this crowd wasn't worth it. <laughs> worth it for you, maybe. Also, isn't your circus supposed to be moving on? You guys got another town to visit, yeah? Hi. Yes, that's the plan. It's too bad, seeing as we're so popular here. But there are so many people waiting for us nationwide. Circus life's a lot harder than it looks. And that's why we want to give our very best wherever we go. I hope you'll enjoy your time here today, Kazuka-san. Today's show will feature our chimpanzee, Clara-chan. Hmm? Chimpanzee? Wow, what a relief. After the bear and tiger, I have expected the animal to be even bigger. <laughs> Kazuka-san, you should never underestimate a chimpanzee. Clara-chan is very smart, and this upcoming show will prove, well, sure to prove her both intelligence and wit. Her memory is quite exceptional as well. She can memorize almost anything with just one look. This is especially true for simple, repeated hand patterns. Wow. Huh. Talented chip. Well, if she's really that smart, couldn't she steal the key and try and make a run for it? I don't want any more trouble. You needn't worry. I learned that lesson to change those locks change to those locks that require a combination. Thanks to them, I won't need to worry about any lost or stolen keys. Well, I guess that's a step in the right direction. Now then, come say hello to Clara Chan. She's a cute one, I tell you. She's quite popular amongst the children, too. <laughs> Mama, look, it's a monkey. <laughs> I'm sh it sure is. Oh, she's waving to us. Isn't that cute? See? She's quite the entertainer. She not... Yeah, there she is. <gasps> That's so cool. She's really going good at climbing. I want to climb like she does. Oh, yes. She's good at climbing trees, too. Mm -hmm. Wait. Climbing 
trees. You used the wrong lock on the monkey. Clara Charles escaped! Yo! That's three for three. Why do I feel like I'm in some sort of, some kind of prank show? Damn it, you said this won't be fine. Perhaps you memorized the lock combination. <sighs> you think? Perhaps you underestimated your chip. Either way, we have to go get go after her. She went that way. I swear off circuses forever. Fuck. I swear she came this way. The hell is she? <laughs> there she is! Clara Chan, come back! Oh no, and they left the machinery running. <laughs> oh shit. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that is screaming. Uh, God damn it, Clara Chan. Couldn't you just, I don't know, behave and not pick over the digger? Alright, guns aren't gonna be worth it. Let's immediately fearless command this. You wanna go? Let's give him hell. Feeling good. I'm not exactly sure. Shield blast. Eyes on no begging for mercy now. Watch this. Let's go. Endless love. Let's do it. Oh, nice. I'll show you a fight. Take this. Yep. Wow. Use gun instead. Essence of Orbital Laser. Uh, no. Actually, what palmates do we have that I haven't used yet that are free? None. Okay. We're not doing that. Alright, I just good damage. Eyes on me. Now we're talking. Take your best shot. Damn it. Let's go. Get a fun with this. Let's try and raise my voltage. Alright. Don't get there, so weak. Almost halfway. Yeah. Let's go. Eyes on me. Want some of that? No begging for mercy now. Watch this. Don't feel the pain of my soul. Excellent. Voltage level three. We'll have him do his thing after. A gift for you. Ah, it's not what I want to see. Don't 
get cocky. Have fun with this. Elven drop. Hope this hurts. Nope, don't do that. Watch me. Take this. You want to get for you. Wait. Gotta hold it together. Check this out. Bring it on. Gotta do some. I got this. You wanna fight? This is the worst. Watch Take this. Best shot. Come on, out of my sight. Well. Get alive. Watch close we'll now. Serious. Care for a magic it trick? Sucks. Come on now! Watch oh, close yeah? now. We're gonna win this Watch fight! Pain in the ass. Let's go! You're in it now! Ugh, man. Don't get cocky! I got this! Mm. Have fun with this. Or fire breath. Get Let's go. Take this, we come up. Alright, let's do it. Going in! You're in for it now. I got it. Watch me. Are you quick enough? Alive. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Check this out. Bring it to me. Shot. Now we're talking. Watch this. Yeah, guitar crush. You're in. All right. I hate to say it, but accuracy doesn't matter for Clara, because I noticed that she can't dodge anyways. Fearless resolve. Nice! And detective's eye. Okay. It's finally stopped. Yeah, holy cow, we set that thing on fire. Yasuna san. Where's Clara? Uh, I have her. She seems rather burnt out, but at least she's safe. Oh, good. Still, what a freaking mess. Who's gonna pay How for the fork with the digger? I'm not. Hey, did you see that? That was one heck of a performance. Oh, is this part of the circus? Gotta be. Kerm boy versus the almighty digger chimp. Oh, now that's entertainment. I was on the edge of my seat. Ooh, and how about that fire? I'm not sure what's really going on here, but looks like that was they think that was all part of the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this act. Please enjoy the rest of the show as we present to you another act over on that stage. Wow, there's a stage show too? Think it'll be as exciting as the one we just saw? Nope. Let's check it out. So far, so good. All's well and well, I guess. Ugh, hot stuff, uh -oh. man. Well, back to the old grind. Huh? You go! Thank you very much for today, Kasuga-san. Please accept this as one last token of my appreciation. The Doll of Torment. <laughs> I really hope this is the last time. I seriously thought that chimp was gonna kill me. Indeed. I truly can't thank you enough, Kasuga-san. Oh, and this isn't just for all the times you've helped me. <sighs> It's also for showing me a whole new side of excitement from the audience. I've been doing this circus for a long time now. Animals riding balls, jumping through hoops, things that you can see at any circus, really. I wasn't able to break this circus away from what's considered old hat. 
Sure, there were plenty of smiles in the crowd, but was there anything more? Yasuda-san. Next thing you know, we've got a fierce battle between man and bear, then man and tiger, and finally, man and excavator driving chimp! It was these spectacles that kept the crowd on the edge of their seats, their eyes glued to the performance. The thrill, the surprise, the excitement, the joy, all combined to form some truly immersive experiences. I want to continue providing audiences with more fantastic outings like those. <laughs> that right. And with that, I have just one last final no. request. Would you do me the honor of joining our circus? Uh, me? Yes. You and my precious animals would make the ultimate Not team. happening. I'm confident that we could even become Japan's number one circus. Well, I, uh, I'll do my best to get us an excavator of our own. I'll take out a loan, or would you prefer a dump truck? <laughs> I'll get a tank for all I care. I ain't joining the circus. Ah, oh, don't be like that. We could be the most famous circus in the world with a troop like ours. <laughs> Look, I'll be real with you. No more animals! Wait, don't go! Kasuga-san! I love how the workers think it was the new guy leaving it on, and they're just freaking out. That new guy's gonna get fired. Oh. Oh, okay, Clarachan, sweet. Alright, let's do some main story things. Probably eat first because yeah, two of the party members aren't looking too good. Uh, I hate to say it, but I have no idea what those pieces of gear I got go to. But I might figure out one day. But right now, no. Wait, the doll might be fortune teller, and the other one might be. I'm not sure what the other one might be. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I feel like changing my class the breaker. Let's see. One second. My job is currently... I am currently at level 16, yes. Alright, one more level and I get this yeah okay we'll wait one more level because rank 18 is when he finishes that and then uh well the rest is optional uh, there's a taxi right there quick 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 yeah okay, i think i'll do breaker after breaker's a fun one Alright, sorry for the, uh, going off from the main story, but I like to do the, uh, side quests as they show up, get them out of the way. It is an RPG, after all. I'm here to top my, empl my employees' cheese. Um, no, just give me... I'll have... This, this, and it looks like just a regular premium alt draft. Honestly, the only thing I think I'd like from this is this. Oh god, that sounds amazing. The fresh castus and orange. I would, and this blood orange highball. These two, I'd probably really enjoy. We'll do an ambush thing after. I know that the main story stuff is right near me. I'm just gonna save real quick. Yeah, we're gonna do the main story stuff. We'll do Namba after. Well, let me rephrase that. We'll do Namba's drink link after. Hmm? Remember at the beginning of the game, I was scrounging for cash at underbidding machines? Ah, the old days. I got this. Just go. 
We got level nine punks. Goodbye. Oh. Oh yeah, I'll turn that in after. Actually, give me a second. I want to know if there's any gear in here. It doesn't hurt to check. Oh, how did it take me this long? That's a One Piece reference, Usopp. I get it now. Yeah, there's really nothing here. But to uh, get out of the store that you'll never ever in real life see me in. Because I'd be too embarrassed. Alright, hurry, 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 There you clan. You may enter. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk? I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. And the ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> You just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Okikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Okikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Okikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's going to try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo-sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats. Minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your... personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me. Do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo-sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, 
I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? <sighs> Aki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Now the young master has the whole town in the palm of his hand. Blood is being spilled all because of an outsider. Oh, how could our son I once knew be part of that? Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep, lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence is that you ended up in Ijin show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah. Uh, didn't... Didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa-san? No, he... He's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. They wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman. How exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Huh. Well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Heian Tower. Heian Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> <laughs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. Hmm. Maybe we'll actually finally eat Peking Duck. Oh, a friend of mine's playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I really need to beat that game one day. Oh. Sorry about that phone call. Oh. Listen, you get to talk, Ichiban. You're hearing what you said about the chairman Hoshino earlier. There's something I'm curious about. Huh? Like an army then, I guess. Well, remember how he said it wasn't chance you came to a Jinchou? Okay. Yeah, something like that. 
Well, while you were bleeding now from the gunshot wound, I was working my ass off to find the tools to treat you. I doubt you remember. Nah, you know my gratitude is deeper than oceans for that. Well, I think the part of you, uh, that, that the part you want to know is the one who told me to treat you was none other than the sheaf. Hmm? Hmm? I mean, it was in the middle of the night, and I was asleep, of course. The chief and a few of the guys came to me in a panic and asked me to fix you up. Hmm. Then I think about why would they care. What's that supposed to mean? You don't need a motive to save a man, save a dying man, do you? If you were one of us, sure. I done. I would have done it, no questions asked. But getting involved with a shot yakuza, that's asking for trouble. If they really wanted to save you, why didn't they drop you off at the hospital or call an ambulance? Huh. The chief wanted to keep it in house. Right. So I think the chief must have a reason he wanted to save you. A reason we still don't know. I guess he might. I think it relates to what Chairman Hoshio was saying about you being here wasn't by chance. Yo. You think there's more of the chief than we know? Well. Every hobo has a secret or two, he's hiding. Hey. If you got time before you your pecking duck date, duck date, maybe you talking to the chief would be a good idea. True. Alright, but before we leave, Namba, we have some buddying to do. You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry for lying. Oh, yeah. So, I had to. So, when Namba leaves the party, before you cannot get his link above level two, it will not unlock. So, you can only go above level two after he comes back. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well, right? That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Google. Good point. Then, what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I'm all ears. Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Mmm. Hey, just, no, don't worry, man. You're younger than you look. So what? You totally look younger than you are. You, uh... Think so? For sure. If you told me you were in your twenties or hell, your teens, I'd okay. Be... Now you're pushing it, Ichiban. Don't go teens. Go like early thirties. You look early to mid thirties, man. 
God damn it, Ichiban. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, well. That was a good one, though. You got me. Anyway, back to Mizue chat. What happened? Oh, that's right. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, one night I was a little sleepier than usual. So I went out to the back lawn, thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open. And Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind... I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue-chan. That was what I thought at the time. So I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved, and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record, and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now, how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, he took the fall. Alba, are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after. So even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So... No, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizue-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizue-chan's third. And I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <laughs> if only I could. 
For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine, if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. Oh, she's always slurring her speech. Bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Nama here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And here I thought you could hold your alcohol. Also, she's drinking. Oh, no. oh hey, you can do the fortune teller job. Nice. All right. How's it looking out here? Um. All right. I think I'll just go to the homeless camp and, uh, well, I guess we're fighting. Yeah, we'll go to the homeless camp and I'll call it there. Watch me. You have no idea what's about to happen to you. Alright guys, let's go to the homeless camp. Well You're in it now. Take it. The old Ichiban Confections. Before it became Ichiban Holdings. Which is a very, very successful company. Watch me. Let's go! Get He punched me. before he calls for backup. Holy cow, how many people are gonna spawn? I just wanna go to the homeless camp. Watch me. I got this. We take this. I know. I give this for you. Take it back. Goodbye. 
All right, now we're at the homeless camp. About time. Now let me just do this and talk to the sheep, and then we'll call it. Chief. Hmm. My friend's got some questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban, dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Hmm, I see. Fine. I'll tell you. It's as good a time as any. Uh, uh what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They, uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? Yeah. I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. Let's not forget our call was an assassin. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies. Whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten. No matter how nasty. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month, or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn, Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. A uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid. Then let them go free, while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run, anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. Our Kamasan knew these guys would save my life. When he shot me, Kamarocha, was he planning to send me here all along? I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the? Hmm? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was... I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Look, Ichiban. What? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. 
Arakawa was an assassin known for killing men. He probably tried to not kill you. Ichiban, it's about time. <clears throat> it's about time to go to Ian. Ichiban. I'm trying to do my Namba voice, but it's not coming out right now. Ichiban. It's time to go to Ian Tower. Your lunch plans of Chairman Hashio, right? Alright. Which, uh, yeah, this is going on a long enough. We'll do that next time. But until then, I'll see you next time.